Hey guys and welcome back to a video. I kind of wish I wasn't making because it's about to go on a rant about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and it's my two biggest issues with the game. Uh, obviously there's loads of issues with the game right now and my video would, could be longer than my Resident Evil playthrough if I was to discuss everything. So to keep it palatable I'm just going to focus on two and that is the backfill issue and the rage quitting issue. These are the two that I think are the absolute worst in the game right now. Uh, the backfill one, if you don't know what that is, is whenever a family leaves but there's a full victim team, it doesn't seem to search for a new family member for a few minutes for some reason, but if a victim leaves, it'll usually fill both slots really quickly. Uh, so it's been in the game for a long time, I've played multiplayer games for a long time and I've never saw this affect any other game. I don't know how it's still a problem and it also seems like the developers don't even know it's a problem like they always seem confused whenever it's brought up like oh I didn't even I didn't even know that was an issue should we fix it maybe uh, but yeah uh, so I can't see a fix for anytime soon and it is the one main issue that makes it an absolute slog to get content for this game and just enjoy it as a player so obviously the only fix for this is the developers finding whatever is causing the bug and squishing it uh, there's no point in any other discussion about it it's clearly a bug and it's clearly been in the game a long time we just need them to find out what's causing the problem and fixing it. This would, if I could make any change to the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it would be to fix the backfill. It is absolutely the worst problem for me. Uh, so, yeah, fingers crossed that they finally get their head out their ass and actually do something about it. So the second issue is rage quitting. Uh, so I think the main reason this happens, because I think the question I've got to ask is why are they rage quitting? Uh, from my experience, it's predominantly family members that rage quit. I've definitely seen victims do it, and usually it's because they've got hands hitchy and cook another team, which is an absolute snore fest to play against, but not an excuse for rage quitting. Uh, but yeah, from my experience, it's almost always family that do it, and I think it's for two reasons, and one of them is the rush meter. It's just not fun to play against. It's the equivalent of if you're playing football or soccer for you lovely people across the pond and the other team scores whilst you're still lacing up your boots. You, it just feels crap to play against. Uh, you're down already even though you've not even had a chance to start the game. Uh, you're sitting with your lock still in your hands or your trap still in your hands and Connie's already through a gate and you're left wondering why the game is allowing that and I honestly don't know. Just let the family that are not Leatherface start at the same time as the victims. There is one issue I can think of this and that's if they do, just don't go with Leatherface and go with three family that spawn in separate parts of the map and all three of you bring a blood build. You could probably be looking at a level 4 grandpa before the victims have even got out of the basement but that is a separate balancing issue that shouldn't affect this. You can look at perks if that becomes a problem. Uh, so yeah, the other issue is when uh, family members just assume that if they lose one objective that that is it, the game is done and there's no coming back from it. Uh, Johnny here in this clip, we've door slammed him after unlocking two gates and that was enough for him. Nobody had escaped yet and there was no escapes open when he disconnected and that was enough for him. I've seen so many comebacks from family members where Connie's blazed through two gates, got in the last gate, got caught by a family member and the family ended up with a 4k so yeah just keep going i think the reason the victims don't is because there's always that chance you can escape and family members don't seem to realize that even if all the escapes are open how many clips have you saw of, of, of just leave moments with leyland that just doesn't go out and then gets his ass kicked be the the family member that does that and who cares if they teabag you it's that yeah it's annoying yeah the guy's a dickhead but is it is it that big of a deal really just chase them out and go next if, if they do leave. Uh, but yeah, that is my rant and I just want to say a special mention for hackers, uh, which uh, you can see in this clip here. Uh, obviously there's way more subtle hackers than this. I saw people wall hacking and things like that, which is a lot more difficult to spot. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's just script kiddies that are ha having fun ruining the game for people. It's not happening enough, even though it is happening more right now, I still wouldn't say it's happening enough to be something that's ruining the game. It's mostly just a roll your eyes moment and then go next. If they fix the backfill, I personally wouldn't even care. And it's always going to be a problem. Every multiplayer game has it. I know that anti-cheat sucks, uh, but yeah, it's not going away. So yeah, 
it's not really much I can do. But if you've managed to stick through this run, I really appreciate you. I promise I'll be back to normal content as soon as possible, and hopefully we'll see you then.